In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic list within Pardot. So go ahead and log in to the Pardot Lightning application, then click on Prospects and go to Segmentation, and you'll find Segmentation Lists. Now, within Segmentation Lists, we've got two main types of lists, static and dynamic. So to create a new one, click on Add List and give it a name. In this case, we'll call it example dynamic list, seems appropriate. You can then place that list in a folder, whatever makes sense for your organization's organization. Uh, and you can also add a tag to it. Beneath that, check the box for dynamic list. This is what is gonna allow us to create rules or criteria uh, that then applies to different prospects so that people are, are automatically added or removed from that list. If you uncheck that box, then it just stays a regular static list then create set rules. Now within this interface, we've only got a couple buttons to worry about. You'll notice add new rule or add new rule group. So click on add new rule to create some sort of criteria uh, to search the database for to find people that match. So most often you're gonna be looking at field data or perhaps activity data. So for, for example, prospect account field. We can look at all fields on that prospect's account and look specifically at industry. And then you can select a particular industry. So give me all prospects related to an account that is in the energy industry, for example. Click add new rule to add additional rules and, and specify uh, with even greater detail who exactly you'd like to add to this list. And you can also add you know, rules about activity. So in this case, we're looking at the prospect has been emailed at least five times in the last 30 days. Now, between these rules is some logic. And so right now it says and, but you can change that and to or by switching from match all to match any. Just talking about um, the way you handle these rules. Do you want somebody to have to match all of the rules in order to, to be added to this list? Or can they match any of these rules and be added to the list? Now you might come into a situation where you wanna have a mix. You wanna use some ands and some ors. In that case, add new rule group. All this allows you to do is control that logic between the rules inside a larger piece of logic. So we've got ors within the rule group and we've got ands outside of the rule group. Then when you're done, click run rules let me get rid of these extra rules here. And that's it. Now don't be alarmed if once you hit run rules, no prospects have matched, <clears throat> no prospects have matched your list. That's normal. It takes a few minutes for it to run through your database and to pull people onto this list. When it's finished, you'll get an email saying that this dynamic list has refreshed. You can come back and check and see if you set those rules correctly or not. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.